What is the one thing that all of these scratch games have? They're all 2D. Every single one is 2D. I'm gonna make it out of 2D scratch and I'm gonna make a 3D game. Is it possible? But scratch is 2D. How are you gonna make a 3D game? Okay, nerd, let me show you. First things first, scratch, get out of here. So the first thing I need is the background. I'm gonna be making a Subway Surfers ripoff. It's it's gonna be better than Subway Surfers though. This is this is Scratch Surfers 3D. Now let me add a separator. Okay, I might I might not be even, but we'll we'll, we'll fix that later. I need the player. Should I draw it? No, I'm not gonna draw it okay we got a wide selection of sprites here at disposal Do what is wrong with dorian's yo it was dorian okay nothing good so far as soon as asked for okay kieran that sprite's not half bad i think we'll go with this so the first thing i need to do is make kieran move like that and then there's gonna be like obstacles moving forward and we're gonna have to dodge them now i need to make kieran switch the sides and watch this this is literally genius coding right here forever go oh wait wait hold on Hold on, cut, cut, set, set side two. Okay, now we're gonna use some complicated math. We're going to subtract the key right arrow. My, wait, no, arrow keys are for noobs. Hold on, we're using, we're using, we're using WASD. Subtract D from A, and then we're gonna set X to side times 100. Boom, look at that. We, we, I'm a genius. Subscribe for my scratch hack. I actually need some enemies. We need some trains. I'm gonna use a spike. Literally every every scratch game has spikes, so we're gonna we're gonna go with that. Okay, delete that point. No, I didn't mean to delete that. Hold on. Now I need the spikes to spawn up here and then and then move towards the bottom of the screen. So I need to make a bunch of spike clones. Ever wait one second, create a clone of myself, and then when the spikes start as a clone, I'll make them start at the top of the screen. Repeat 10, change Y by minus 10. Um it's spawning spikes they need to get bigger though hold on i need the spikes to spawn on a random side this is so confusing hold on set x to x times y no what am i doing this was harder than i thought why did i think of this challenge <laughs> Wait, now it shrinks. I need it. I need to make a minus point. Okay, now they get big. Hold on. Let me add another plus. Okay, it's getting slightly bigger. There we go. I mean, it, it kind of works. Okay, I think the 3D effect is is going pretty good. It needs to get faster as it goes to the bottom of the screen. Go to Y times Y position times Y maybe. Okay, that that was not a good idea. Y plus Y position. What am I doing here? Is it even working? Oh, there's so much code here. I can't imagine if I was making a maze game. This would be so much more complicated and boring. Maze games are boring. Wait, that kind of works. Hold on. Okay, the spikes are kind of spawning, but they're just offset. I don't know. They're just offset towards the top. Maybe if I add, bruh, can the code just work? No. <gasps> Wait, that works. Yes, it works. Yes. Why wasn't it working the other times? It's the worst version of Subway Surfers ever. Let me make the back have a gradient so it actually looks kind of 3D. Literally no game in Scratch is 3D. They all fake it. This is probably the best Scratch background ever. And believe me, there is there is not many of those. Yo, look at, look at my 3D game. It's so good. Why does it not look right? Wait, I think I have an idea. I need to sell the 3D effect, okay? It's not gonna work until I do this. You can't call it a 3D game until it actually looks 3D. Hey, kind of works. Okay, now they... they it needs a point in the direction. You know what? Let me delete this. This is not doing anything. Okay, it's kind of working. Now I need to get it to point in a direction. This is gonna be an even longer line of code. Oh no. Why isn't it pointing in the right direction? This is gonna take longer than I thought. Okay, this is probably the closest I'm ever gonna get it. All right, I think th I think that sells the 3D effect. I mean, that's all I could do with Scratch. It's Scratch, okay? There's not much I can do. Okay, now I need a game over screen. I'm, I'm not gonna ridicule the player for dying this time. If you play this game, you have skill. You don't, you don't deserve to be ridiculed. You're terrible. That fits the game perfectly. Okay, when green flag clicked, hide. When I receive, game over. Go and go to front. Okay, now I actually need to detect if the player is touching those spikes. Okay, first thing I need is a hitbox. The hitbox is gonna be at the bottom of Kira's feet. Okay, I think that works. Wait, I just died. How does that work? The thing is past me. I'm gonna have to do that hitbox thing that I did in my last video. That did not work out well for me. 
Then the last video I tried making a hitbox, I, I almost rage quitted. And when I received the hitbox, which cost him the hitbox, I do not like doing this. Y is less than, if it's right, if it's like right here, if it's at less than minus 40, Y is more than minus 80, or should it be the other way? Please work. Right now it's not doing anything at all. Now I'm not touching the enemy at all. I hate doing this. Why? Okay, that's the time that the hitbox will actually show and kill you. Why isn't the hitbox even working? Well, maybe, let me, let me move it up a little bit, maybe. Okay, okay, that actually worked. Wow, I, I'm not, I probably won't even have to rage all the time like last time. Maybe it'll actually work. Yes, that was easier than I expected. What? Now I need a score. Okay, set score to zero, change score. Wait one second, change score by one. Yo. Let me see what happens if I do multiple enemies on this screen. Hopefully this won't break. Oh, what? This is actually hard. Wait, but nothing is spawning in the sensor. This is actually fun. I have done it. I made a 3D game in Scratch. Oh, wait, what? No, set ghost effect to ghosts. This game is actually hard. What? Okay, let me let me try let me try adding some trees. Um, tree. Let's see. Uh, let me copy the code from here. The trees aren't gonna do it. The trees are just for decoration. Oops. No, I don't, I don't want the trees to be in there. Wait, wait, stop, 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 stop spawning. What is this sprite for? I don't need that. I hope that wasn't something important. Oh, that should work now. Okay, the trees they need to go somewhere else. I can't see. Why are the trees on there? Get off of the path. The trees need to get off. And I broke it. Okay, random X. I broke it again. Why do I keep on breaking it? And they're, they're spawning They're spawning on the road again. Will they please spawn off of the road? There we go. No, they keep on spawning off of the road. Let me, let me take this out. They're spawning on the road again. Why stop spawning on the road? Let me, let me stop the enemies from spawning just so I can get the trees to work. And, and then the trees. Why are the trees going onto the road? What is exciting on the road? Hey, I think that works. Minus 1.5, maybe. Yeah, that, that works. Let me do a size hack real quick. Set size to 1000. To pick random 150 to 100. And set size to size. Oh, I already have it in there. Wait, wait, no. Let me, let me set size to 50 plus size. Awesome. Why are they... It insists on spawning in the road. Okay. Why? Why is it spawning in the road? Oh, this is the size. I thought I was changing the random X. Okay, when random X is 100, they start spawning in the road. Let me do more. That, that works. My 3D game in Scratch is complete. No, I keep on dying. Hold, let me hide this variable. 80, okay. No, 140. Scuffed subway surfers. I think this is way more exciting than Subway Surfers. It requires more skill than Subway Surfers. Also, we just released new hoodie merch, limited edition at Jackson Academy X Osaka. If you want to buy it, get it in the link in the description. Play the game, the link is in the description. I'll see you in another video.